Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. PJ, Pastor Josh here with you. Romans chapter 1 verse 28 is our verse of the day and it says this, since they, they being humanity, since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God, since we looked at him and we're like, hey, you know, I'm not going to follow him. It says this, he abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do the things that should never be done. What I want to talk about today, this chapter and this verse is famous for, is the cycle of sin. The cycle of sin. What that simply means is this. God punishes sin in one sense. God punishes sin by allowing you to sin more. I know that might seem confusing, but think about the story of the prodigal son, right? Prodigal son lives in the father's household. He's been given the father's thing. is blessed by the father and says, I want to go do my own thing. Cusses the father out and says, I want to go. Right? And what does the father do? The father allows the son to take his stuff, cuss him out, and walk away. But what happens in the parable of the prodigal son? What happens is the son goes down, 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 till he hits bottom. And he looks back up and he says, you know what? <laughs> Maybe the father was right. I need to go back to my father. Same is true here. Same is true with your sin and my sin, humanity's sin. God will, what does it say? He abandoned them. He will let us do the things that we should never do. He, one of the punishments of sin is God will allow us to go into more sin why? So that at some point we will hit that rock bottom and we will see that what he says is true, that sin always leads to death. Sin always, not just physical death, relational death, societal death, spiritual death, sin leads to death. We will figure out that sin leads to death and we will get tired of the death in our life and we will turn back to God and say, Father. Let me pull out of this. Let me acknowledge who you are. Let me acknowledge that wisdom and life and grace is all found in you. And we turn back to him because in him is found life. In him is found everything that you were created for. So let's turn this back into prayer. Father, we thank you that you do not abandon us totally to our sins. We thank you for free will that you've given us that allows us to accept you or reject you. We thank you that you didn't make us robots, that you allowed us to uh, truly experience love. Father, we repent of when we have chased after the foolishness in our hearts. We've abandoned you. Father, thank you for Jesus, whom we can uh, call upon your name through as our mediator and be saved. Uh, let us not chase after our sin, but chase after you, after life, after goodness, after joy, after peace. It's in your son's name that all of God's people said, amen. If you'd like to join us, go to graceunitedlr.com, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.